Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to another TV box review. Today I have a brand new TV box called the Yundu Y6. Inside this we have the Unlogic S905X, 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage and of course running Android 6. I left some links in the video description if you wanna check this box out. Next let's check out what comes with this and then let's see how the box performs. Let's begin. The Y6 comes in this box right here, on the front we just see a picture of the TV box itself and onto the back here some information about it. Inside the box we get a remote control, this remote control takes two AAA batteries, however I do recommend using a wireless keyboard and mouse for a better experience with this TV box. We also find an HDMI cable, the power adapter, and a very basic user manual. The user manual has a couple of pictures and it is in English. Because I got this box from Amazon it did come uh, with a wireless keyboard and mouse, however this may not be the case um, if you don't buy this box from Amazon. Now onto the TV box itself. So it is made out of plastic, however it does look a bit different than most of the TV boxes that we are used to. On the front we just see the brand name and true 4K. Onto this side here um, we see an SD card slot and two USB ports. On the back of it we find the power adapter port, the HDMI, AV network adapter port and um, the SPDIF. And lastly at the bottom we just see the model name which is the Y6, the 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. We also have uh, two rubber feet right here and uh, some holes so the box doesn't overheat. As soon as we turn on the box we see their boot up animation. It doesn't take long and the box starts up and this is their launcher. Let's start by going to the apps and see what apps come pre-installed uh, with this box. So uh, let me open the apps uh, right here. So we get an app installer, Cloud TV, Facebook, uh, Gallery, Cody, Miracast, we even get Netflix, the Play Store, I also see Plex uh, around there and uh, YouTube. So a lot of apps that come uh, pre-installed uh, here. We even get a Cody Center. So if this is uh, like anything close to that uh, Nextbox A5, this is basically gonna let you install add-ons uh, onto Kodi. So yeah, it is exactly like that. So you click on any of these and uh, you can install any add-ons that you want uh, from here and uh, also the add-ons get uh, updated right from here as well. So you don't have to worry about uh, updating individual uh, add-ons. Moving forward, so on top there uh, we see a couple of things, so a recommended uh, tab, basically these are uh, just folders and you can add your own apps in there, so you can remove and add any apps that uh, you wish, so if you go to online it's the same thing, local is going to be the exact same thing, and at settings here we actually get to the settings uh, app, so if I click on settings right here, here you see the network, so if you're connected to the um, internet through Wi-Fi or through a cable, a display here, um, we can see the screen resolution, so for this particular TV the maximum resolution it's gonna be 1080p, however that could be different um, for your TV. And we also get uh, an HDR mode, so this is supposed to make the pictures uh, look better, like while watching movies um, and stuff like that. But sounds, we have the basic uh, sounds that we always uh, get onto these TV boxes, so you can choose uh, whichever uh, you prefer from here, depending on uh, your setup at home. Moving on to apps, we can check out what uh, version of Kodi we have installed. So, Kodi right here, let's uh, click on it. So it's uh, Kodi version 16.1, so a pretty good uh, version, I believe that uh, we're gonna switch to version 17 uh, very soon. But storage and reset, uh, we can get to that in a bit later. Let's uh, check out the languages first. So this box supports the following languages. So I'm just gonna scroll through them. Hopefully you see the one uh, that you are interested in. So a lot, a lot of languages. So these are all the languages uh, supported. And I also see the Bluetooth uh, sign here. So um, I assume that this box um, has Bluetooth as well and uh, I will definitely check out the Bluetooth uh, when I play a game later on but uh, let's go to more settings for now and here let's scroll all the way to the bottom at about media box 
And here we can see the model uh, name, which is the Y6, the Android version, which is Android 6.01, and the latest security patch is from June 2016. But storage and USB here. So we have 32 gigs uh, of internal storage. Uh, about 2 gigs are uh, used out of that. I believe that it's more than that to the operating system and stuff. However, onto this box, we can install... Uh, SD cards as internal memory so I have a SD card uh, inserted in the box so you can just click format as internal uh, here and then you can make this uh, SD card into internal storage so this way you're not gonna be running out of uh, internal storage anytime soon and continuing on to the settings app uh, here so what whether we can uh, select whatever uh, city you want um, on top there at other here we can change uh, some themes so we can change it make it cool for example or we can make it auto or Cody so let's try and see what happens if we uh, select this one so I guess it just changes a bit and uh, this is uh, amazing code and it's got like a different picture so it's basically just gonna change the pictures uh, a bit in here and lastly at system info you can just see whatever uh, we've seen before and we can also check for system updates and uh, I don't believe there are any updates at this particular time so that's it for the settings app I can also confirm that the Play Store works okay, so any app that you're gonna search for, uh, you're gonna find and you can basically install uh, any app from the Play Store and there are no issues whatsoever with it. Let's begin by checking the speeds for the internal memory and the RAM and on the internal memory we do get some rather good speeds, so very very decent for this particular box. And I know that some of you are also interested in this, so you can also check this out. On the Antutu benchmark we get a score of about 35,000 and at info here we can see some more specification about the box itself, so basically everything that we already know. Continuing with the Geekbench 4 test results, we get a multi-core score of about 1690 and a single core score of about 603. Down here we can see some more information about the device and here we can see some more uh, results about the test. Continuing with the iStorm Extreme, we get a score of 42, 43 and down here we can see some more details about the test. And for those of you that uh, were wondering if this box has root access, yes, this box has root access from the factory. And lastly, the CPU that will just confirm everything that we uh, already know. And at the thermal here we can see the temperature for the processor, so it's about 65, 66 degrees after all those benchmark tests. On the speed test app, through wired connection we get a decent score of about 75. On the 5 GHz network we only get a download uh, speed of about 7. And on the 2.4 GHz uh, network we only get a download speed of about 12. So the speeds on Wi-Fi are not great by uh, any means. I have Kodi open, so this box comes pre-installed with Kodi 16.1. Here at system and system info you can check out some information uh, about it so I'm just gonna scroll through this so you have a better idea for whatever you may uh, be looking at. So these uh, are everything that we can see under the summary there and uh, yeah the box does come with uh, some add-ons so if I click on add-ons uh, we get a few add-ons uh, pre-installed already. So let me just open a random one so let's try this one for example. And uh, we'll just open a random stream and uh, see how well it goes. And after quite some time, uh, it's going. So it does seem uh, to go uh, okay. Let's see if we can uh, skip forward a bit. So let's see if we can skip here. And as I was expecting, uh, it works fine. And I don't see any issue why Kodi wouldn't uh, work. It's just uh, a matter of finding the working streams. So, alright, uh, Kodi works fine onto this particular box. Uh, keep in mind that DTS and Dolby Digital are not gonna work onto this box and uh, in fact no box with Amlogic S905X works with DTS and Dolby Digital. Since I already have Kodi going, I do have my USB stick uh, connected to the box. And uh, let's check out uh, some files that I have uh, here. Uh, Okay, so it's gonna be this one I believe. So the first file that I'm gonna try to play it's at uh, a 4K file at 60 frames per second. So I'm very very sure that it's not gonna work. This only works on uh, S905 uh, 
boxes so let's try and see what happens so we do get the same black screen that we get on uh, all the S905X boxes so now I will have to exit Kodi because there is no other way of um, actually going back the following file it's uh, another 4k file however this one it's at 50 frames per second so uh, it should do a bit better so this one does uh, seem to work uh, fairly good uh, really good actually not not bad at all so uh, this one will do just fine the following file let's see it's a 720p file so it's this one right here this one should uh, work with no uh, problems whatsoever so i'll just uh, skip forward and as i was expecting this one uh, works perfectly fine the next file it's this one right here so uh, I'm just gonna skip forward a bit, this is a very very strange movie, I don't even know what's uh, happening most of the time, it's really awkward, I think it's a TV show or something, but um, yeah, the important thing that uh, it works uh, onto this box. The following file, it's this one, so this one also works uh, really good, so no issues with uh, this one whatsoever. The following one, it's a 4K file, this one uh, was filmed with my phone. So, uh, I, yeah, I'm assuming that this one is gonna work and it does seem uh, to do fairly, fairly good. So, uh, this uh, 4K file also works and this one here, uh, I'm about 100% sure that it's not gonna work. I can try opening it, but uh, yeah, it's not, uh, not gonna start up because it doesn't start on any other uh, TV box, so, except for the ones with the S905. Alright, so that one doesn't work and uh, let's try the last one which is this uh, 1080p one and this one will do absolutely fine. So as I was expecting, uh, this one works uh, very very well. So that's uh, what files work onto this box and what files don't uh, work. Even though the box has the Miracast app installed, I wasn't able to connect to it with uh, any smartphone. So I'm gonna say that this particular time Miracast does not work. I'm currently playing FIFA 16. As you can probably tell, uh, it does work uh, very, very well. Uh, just the thing is that I'm not uh, the best at playing games, so uh, it may be a while till I actually score. But uh, yeah, most games should do absolutely fine. Uh, oh, look at that. Should uh, do absolutely fine onto this box. I mean, this is not uh, a slow processor. So if you're getting this uh, box, you can do some uh, gaming as well. Okay, so let's uh, try this. Oh, that's hot. Man, I'm so bad at this game. So yeah, FIFA 16 uh, and other games will do just fine onto this uh, particular box. I have the YouTube app opened at the moment, I am playing one of my own videos and the maximum resolution available on YouTube is at 1080p. So currently we are um, playing this video at 1080p and as you can probably tell it does go uh, very very smooth, I mean I don't see any lag or uh, anything like that. So videos uh, should do absolutely fine uh, onto this particular box uh, on YouTube. And it's time to conclude this video. So if you don't like the launcher that comes uh, with the box, you can always install Nova Launcher. I have Nova Launcher installed on the box and it works um, absolutely fine. I don't like the fact that the box doesn't have the navigation bars at the bottom of the screen so you can't really lift them up, there is no other way of uh, actually bringing them up. So that is a downside because I do like those for multitasking and uh, so on. Aside from that, the Wi-Fi speeds are not the best so if you're buying this box just to use it on Wi-Fi, keep in mind that uh, the Wi-Fi speed uh, it's not uh, that fast. All the apps that I tried worked really well, gaming seemed to do very very well, so no issues um, whatsoever with the Play Store either, so overall the box did uh, very very good. Uh, if you do have any questions please leave a comment down below, if uh, you did like the video press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys!